Good morning. Like I say, good morning. Cool. That's that's rude. Come in, Andy. Welcome to my house. Okay. Hello. Uh, welcome to my house and my video. Uh, what's the plan today, Andy? You just you just vlog today. I'll just chill out. I'll just watch. Yeah. It. What's going on? Plan is you're gonna tell everyone you've been living a lie. <laughs> I'm actually in a in the midst of a massive bulk. Yeah. Today the plan is because I've obviously been doing a cut for like I don't even know now like a month over a month I think and I haven't really gone into the ins and why is my family so loud? It's the ins and outs. So today it's going to be like, I'm going to track all of my calories, all my macros. It's going to be like what I'm eating uh, in my current cut to get shredded with the plan being to get shredded. Should be hopefully insightful. This is going to be a change. Like if you watch my videos for a while, this is going to be like the opposite to my regular eating videos in that I'm not going to be eating loads of I swear if I, I mean, he doesn't understand swearing, so I feel like I can swear, but I'm just not going to. I'm not eating loads of rubbish. It's going to be like a cleaner, lower calorie, higher protein diet, starting with breakfast, Let's begin. There's my we'll take our child. I need to prepare my normal food. What are you, what are you having? Um, and banana smoothie milkshake. What are the green bits in it? Spinach. Nice, mate. Is it good? I'll try a bit. That's mine. <laughs> That's my one. Yeah, mm, it's really good. It in, he likes it. Mm. That's the most rancid smoothie I've ever tried. Chocolate and banana, mate. Okay. Breakfast. Breakfast is a generous description of what I'm about to have. Anyone that's watched my video, what? Oh, I'm gonna laugh, mate. Like five seconds into the video. It's gonna be there for the whole day now. I, anyone that's watched my videos for any length of time would know that I, not, not only am I not hungry in the morning, I actually feel a little bit sick in the morning. So not eating food is easy. And like rule number one of cutting is if you're not hungry, Obviously, don't eat. It, that's just nonsensical. It makes sense to save your calories for a time where you are getting hungry. So I know, for example, later in the day and towards the evening, that's when I start to get hungry and start to crave stuff. If I have no calories, it's obviously going to be an absolute struggle. On a side note, I'm not actually tracking calories currently. Like I'm basically, I'm shooting for about 200 grams of protein. Beyond that, I'm just kind of, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of eyeballing food. Like now I'm back home, I'm eating fairly consistently, so it's like easier to gauge how much I'm eating. But I'll be interested to see today, like when, once you track all the calories and macros, it'll be interesting to see uh, exactly what I'm consuming. Ow. Ah! Okay, so annoyingly, the flat that I've been having like pretty much every day, I've now run out of them. But I was, well essentially, my, bro's, my breakfast will comprise of a protein shake, which is like 20 grams of protein. So it's clear weight, so it's minimal calories. 84 calories, because that's just with water. 84 calories, 20 grams of protein. I've been having a protein flapjack, but like, I'll just have a protein bar, it's the same thing. Like this is 227 cows and 20 grams of protein. So in total, 40 grams of protein, it's pretty solid. I keep going to like whinge about this drilling noise, but like this is gonna be us. For the next year, our neighbors in the new place are gonna hate us because we're gonna be doing like so much building. By the way, I will do another update on that at some point. Uh, we are very, I keep saying this, we are very close to starting the build. We're just ironing out our last few. There's one pretty enormous development that I'll talk to you about at some point in the future, but um, basically, long story short, the house build is gonna be starting soon. So get ready for that content. Okay, so peach tea, clear away. That's a cookies and cream layered protein bar. Meal number one. Meal number one, as if I've even said that. That's like a proper. This is this is the the broest breakfast in the world, by the way. A protein shake and a protein bar. I could obviously, this is like 200 old cows. I could have like a small omelet or like a, I don't know, small bowl of porridge, but at the moment, like I'm not at the point where. Yeah, that's cool, yeah, cool. So sick. I'm not at the point where like I'm I'm hungry. I mean, there may come a time where, I'm, where in the morning I'm hungry. At that point, maybe I'll go for a massier, more voluminous thing, but right now I'm just getting the protein and uh, yeah. Just eating it for the sake of eating it, essentially. Okay, breakfast is done. <laughs> breakfast is done, so that even counts. I'm turning this off. Ugh, mm. On a side note, and you just told me that, if you don't like this video and subscribe to my channel, you're gonna get a menial job at the DVLA, slowly work his way up over time, until he gets to the point that he has the capacity to see everyone's number plates. Then he's gonna find your specific number plate, track down your car, come to your house, super glue himself to the underside of your car. Over the course of the next two weeks, just die a slow, painful death, and then that's it. So if you can live with that in your conscience, that's fine, but if you can't, then probably like and subscribe. What are you doing there? I 
handy. Um, I'm actually putting my num. Well, I, I was just interrupt me. I was putting my weights into a spreadsheet, an Excel, whatever Mac equivalent is. Uh, so basically, I've been tracking my weight for the last three, not quite a month. Annoyingly, I didn't track it for the last like week. I lost a couple of kilos, but within the point when I got to like 70, 97 and a half kilos, I've tracked it right till today. This morning, I was 93.7 kilograms. Probably, probably losing weight on the far side, to be fair, but I think I had a bit to lose because that was like the start of this cut. I'd been properly force feeding myself. So the first couple of kilos were just gonna be like, you know, water, glycogen. I think I'm at the point now where it's starting to kind of level out a little bit. Now it's gonna be more marginal gains. I'm actually toying with the idea as well of maybe just like sitting at maintenance for a little bit because I don't want to cut too quickly. I don't want to lose muscle. Obviously, the goal is to retain muscle at the absolute least. And plus, with the bombshell from last week, the whole bodybuilding show thing, if it transpires, that's going to be in like three months. Like I can't cut for another three months because I'll literally die. So I need to know, I guess, when my end date is before I formulate my kind of final battle plan. You know, you with me? Yeah. When does your cut start? When I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum. And he's I'm getting, and he's right getting on. jacked as f mate. Right, we are about to go to the gym. First, I'm going to concoct, concoct, concoct. I'm gonna concoct a mystery drink. And you desperate to know what this is? We actually am. Your mystery powder. No, not because you already know. And you already knows what it is. Wouldn't you like to know what this drink is? Well, tough, I'm not going to tell you. It's actually pretty sick, you know. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so today is going to be a leg day. It sounds weird saying leg day because the last like five years, all I've done is like squat or deadlift day. Ironically, I mean, I am squatting today. I said like when I stopped powerlifting, I wanted to like, the mistake I made last time I did this is that I just stopped squatting and deadlifting and benching and just lost all of my strength in a very short space of time. I want to retain some strength. So I'm gonna keep in definitely at least a squat and deadlift, but it's just gonna be a complete different focus. So today I'm gonna to do sets of 10 for squat, which I mean is gonna be horrendous. The weight's gonna be very light just to facilitate that extra volume. I'm also slowing the movement down, so you'll notice that I'm not doing that kind of bounce out of the hole. It's a much more controlled, slow movement to really focus on horn activation. Um, so yeah, let's just, uh, let's just do that. That was, as expected, horrible. It's just ridiculous, the difference. I was just saying to Andy, like, the difference between me bouncing out of the hole and slowing reps down like that, coupled with doing, yeah, 10 reps, it's just, it's so different, it's so uncomfortable. Um, but it's done, thank the Lord. Uh, I'm now gonna do an exercise that, I've done it once in my entire life. You've definitely never seen me do it. I'm kind of limited at the moment with the equipment setup I have. About to get a new machine, which I'll explain in a sec, but for the moment, kind of my hands are tired of what I can do, but yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one. That's why I don't do shit like this because it takes about six hours to set up. And it's the biggest ball ache. Like, what is this, mate? Oh, that was barbell hit for us. Didn't feel, felt, I mean, didn't feel light, but it felt very comfortable. But it was more the, the weight on my freaking, whatever that is, pelvis. I feel like I'm just gonna dislocate my lower body. Uh, so that was a limiting factor. I feel like I could get, if I got one of those pads that went on there, that would probably help, but I can't bring myself to buy one of them because it goes against everything I stand for. <sighs>
And we're done. And that was better than I thought it would be. Like, I've never done these on the cables because I just thought it would be too much of a ball ache, but it actually wasn't too bad. With that said, the plan in the next few days, big breaking home gym update news, I'm getting a seated leg curl leg extension. So I'm gonna move this cable pulley to like here, which could should create space here, and we're gonna slide the seated curl extension into there and I'm gonna be living the dream. Because as much as I like ramming my face into the sweaty gooch part of my bench, an actual machine would just be significantly easier. Done. That's probably the third or fourth time in my life I've done a calf exercise. Felt good, it was very kind of low key, but I'm drip feeding in calves. It's because like, if I'm gonna develop my physique, I shouldn't just ignore body parts, right? So it's happening. Uh, by the way, my plan is pretty much done now, like my current bodybuilding shredding plan. When I get the seated leg curl extension, I'll be kind of, I'll be able to find my stuff and I'll put it in the app. So if you want to train with me, do my plan, get shredded at the same time as me, top link in the description, Morsi app, greatest fitness app on the planet. You can use it for free for a week, no shoes attached, you have nothing to lose, get in the greatest shape of your entire life. Right now, let's go, get aggressive, let's make it happen. Andy, live your dreams. Freedom! We made it to the destination, the drive was unnecessary, it's literally around the corner, I probably should have walked it in hindsight. Uh, we're gonna get some lunch. Calories are quite low, so this is this is the point of the day where I start being aware that I need to start eating more food, like I'm getting hungry. My stomach is like, yeah, cross. Cro why did I say that? My stomach is angry. Before we go and get food, I have to quickly talk to you about the sponsor of today's video. So, Surf Shark, everyone's favorite shark, is that a thing? Isn't the thing. In case you're unaware, right, Surfshark is a VPN. A VPN is basically a tool which protects your privacy when you're using the internet. So stuff like your pictures, your videos, your documents, all the stuff on your computer that you wouldn't want some little weirdo like, like that guy who just walked past, getting their hands on, it's covered. But the coolest thing about Surfshark, and this is absolutely fundamental, is that it allows you to change the location from which you're accessing the internet, not not literally, obviously you're still in the same place, but like in a dorky online setting, which means that it gives you access to loads of extra content you wouldn't ordinarily have. Now, I've been using Surfshark for a long time, like we've been doing sponsored videos for, I reckon over a year now, and that's because they're sick, well, it's because they pay me also, but like mainly because they're sick. Like the change in location thing for me is an absolute game changer. If I'm watching Netflix, for example, all I have to do is change my location to the US and I'm immediately hit with a whole plethora of extra content, which people in the UK obviously wouldn't ordinarily get. And as well as the location changing thing, Surfshark also protects your privacy when using public Wi-Fi. So you go into a cafe like a Starbucks, Costa, whatever, you can jump on the public Wi-Fi and you know that all the stuff on your Mac or your phone, whatever, is safe. If, for some perverse reason, you are still not convinced, Surfshark is the only VPN that allows you to use your one account across unlimited devices, and they have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there is literally no risk. So, there is a link to Surfshark in the description. Use that link, use the code MATT, and you'll get 83% off, plus three months extra for free. You're welcome. Please, right, can I just get like, can I be annoying and get like a semi, Customized omelet. Yep, of course. Hero. Okay, can I please get? Can I get four eggs in four omelet, eggs. please? Yep. To be honest, I mean, literally that breakfast omelet, just literally that, but like with four eggs. Yep. Would you have any other like meat bits you chuck in there other than bacon? Anything like I do chicken on the side. Oh. Like that, so, yeah. Would it be weird putting chicken? Do you think chicken in the omelet would ruin it? Yeah, but I put it on the side for where? A little bit of chicken on the side. Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, so let's go for that. Chicken or do you want Cajun chicken? Bit of Cajun chicken, bit of Cajun would be, Cajun would be yeah, mad, yeah. mate. Yeah. yeah. So four eggs, yeah, and then that on the side. That'll okay. be absolutely optimal, mate. Any toast? Yeah, we need some carbs. Let's go like, yeah, a bit of like brown toast would be yeah, awesome, please, mate. Cool. Thanks, dude. Okay. All right. That is incredible, mate. Thank you, you very much. Any sauces on Maybe a commando, then if I, if I, if I, if I regret my decision, I'll give you a shout. So I'll grab some All right. Okay, so we've come to a place by the way called Ginger's Kitchen. It's like a local place. Pretty good. I mean, no, that's, that's a lie. It's very good. Uh, the reason we came here is because they're accommodating, i.e. I can ask for annoying things and they'll just make it. So we've got a substantial omelette, some other bits on the side, some bonus chicken for the protein. The key 
Diet Coke. Like I know, I, I haven't drunk Diet Coke content, uh, consistently for, for a long time, but like, I feel like it's one of the keys if you want to cut. Obviously, I, I don't recommend it in, in the sense of it's obviously full of synthetic things, but like in terms of having no calories and like giving you the illusion of having had something sweet, it's just, it's just absolutely ideal. So like, if you're waning a little bit and you don't want to consume more calories, you can drink some Diet Coke and like you just feel satisfied and you've obviously had no calories, so it's ideal. In terms of the cows for this and the macros, Andy mate, I'm just going to put the ball in your court. You, you just put it on the screen somewhere around here. Around here is. I imagine. I, I feel like, I mean, put it out there, protein is going to be extremely high right now because that is a substantial amount of chicken and an omelette. Everything else, I don't know. Just good luck working that out. Very good, mate. Very good. Solid, like, 8 out of 10 omelette. Let's butter my toast. Andy, Ar not aromatic, exotic, not the essential, sensual buttering toast edit in three, two, one, go. I'ma make your mind tonight, pulling your hair, baby. It's the most seagull ridden area in the world. Lunch is done, it was good, happy with that. Now we're gonna head home and see what, see what the Morsi team are up to. Situation is as follows. It says, why have you just walked off, mate? What the hell are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? I'm going for a walk. Now, I know recently, I'm pretty sure literally about two videos ago, I said I hate walking, I never do it. Things have changed. The cut has forced my hand. I'm now walking a bit. Probably gonna pick up a drink or something just to give me like, give my walk a purpose. Luca, have you got any tips for my walk? No. Cool. Thanks. underway we are literally live live in the walk legit walk who would have thought it? i've gone from never walking to now actively wanting to walk at least like one decent walk a day i didn't realize right there's an app on my phone that literally tells me how many steps i've done like that's news to me so now because i'm a ocd rain man weirdo i love tracking things and seeing progress i can now see how many steps i'm doing and actively try and increase it i'm kind of averaging like 7k or so a day which is probably another three to four hundred cows of calories book which is quite handy i guess uh, the plan is for me i'm going to kind of drip feed cardio use it as a tool so right now just stick with like a bit of walking each day when things start to get a little bit harder i can ramp up the walking i can then let down and i can add in like little bits of cardio maybe some runs maybe some sprints and then if i do ever get to the point where it's like full-blown killing myself trying to get lean i could then just go balls out with the cardio but it's nice to have that as an option you know <laughs> Absolutely, that's what we're talking about. You're in the vlog. You're in the vlog right now. Um, what a time to be alive. <laughs> okay, um, can I please get, because I'm cutting, right? So can I please get a uh, skinny decaf iced latte, wherever the biggest one is, please, with a vanilla shot, please. Coffee acquired. It's the greatest time to be alive. That doesn't make sense. This is just, I've just got a coffee, right? <laughs> Right, we've come to the beach for a romantic iced coffee and I've got also an abstract protein bar. It's like a glazed donut thing. Andy, he's an absolute G, he's gonna put the calories and macros on the screen for this right now. Pretty sure, ironically, it's gonna be more than the calories I just expended doing that walk. So just completely cancel each other out, but get me something to do, fill some time. Not bad as far as protein bars go, but like I'd say gl glazed donut is a little bit misleading. This on the other hand is sick. It's become like a regular thing, like pretty much like a daily drink requirement. Just because it's nice to like, it's a solid walk there and back. It's a good few thousand steps and like it gives me something to do. And like I said, when, same as the Diet Coke thing, like that's pretty minimal cows, but like when you're starting to wane a little bit, it's an easy way to kind of, yeah, to make, uh, to make the diet feel like a bit easier. Okay, we're back. Right, Mario's been on a mail and he's been sleeping for like two hours. As we got back, we can see the buggy shaking around, and I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello, Mario boy. Hello. How was your sleep? Did you have a crazy long sleep? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, got a large box 
of stuff from Muscle Food, which I'm going to show you because I specifically chose a lot of items to aid the cutting process. Things get harder, so let's go. Uh, we've got this popcorn here, right? That's a pretty substantial bag of popcorn, 130 calories, takes a while to eat. That's the dream. Then we've got like a plethora of protein crisps, ranging in protein content, so from 8 grams to 13 grams to friggin' 15 grams, mate. 15 grams of protein crisps. Questioning the packaging, to be honest, not the. What are you saying, Andy? Is that screen premium to you? Mm, no. No, it doesn't. But still, 15 grams of protein, like, could be very handy then breakfast so you know how like i'm having that flapjack slash protein bar currently i kind of wanted to find things that match the macros relatively speaking but were different in case i got bored of the flapjack so we've got stuff like this like various little granola slash porridge pot things anywhere from 10 to 15 grams of protein two to 300 calories could be a handy breakfast option just to mix things up chicken bites i mean chicken and like for, for me, like the option, the, the idle scenario is just like protein that I can just eat quickly. It doesn't involve, you know, it involves minimal preparation. That's the, that's the dream scenario for me. Jesus Christ, that is a hefty bit of salmon, mate. Ready for this? Salmon shot. That's, if that hit you around the face, that would do some damage. Can I hit you with this, around the face of this? Um, I'd rather not. Please. No. That's okay, selfish. <laughs> protein crumpet, as if that is a thing. Have you ever seen a protein crumpet in your life, Andy? <laughs> Give me your honest feedback. Do you think that's going like, to be nice? I think Do you think it will be nice? The proof of the pudding is in the tasting, isn't so it? But just as a neutral, initial first impression, what are you saying? Uh, do you anticipate it, it being nice? I think it would be wonderful, yeah. <laughs> I think you do. Actually going to use the salmon and some prawns for dinner that I'm going to make shortly. Link to Muscle to Food, by the way, is in the description. You want to get any like meat or like I said, just like a variety of protein snacks. If you happen to be cutting, it's very, very handy. So go and get involved. Um, Andy, are you ready for the greatest dinner montage? you've ever put together in your life. I'm prepared, I'm ready. Are you actually though? Are you, yeah. are you annoyed I've said that? Every time I say it in a video, he has no choice because obviously I've just said it, but it's Super happening. Slow, yeah. it's, it's happening. <laughs> bleep out but you're gonna have to make it happen um okay this is probably the greatest food creation of my life that's in asterisks because i didn't really i mean i put it in the bowl but it says prep deal it says got all this stuff up cut cut it up marinate the salmon cook the rice so it says absolute og uh can we get some love for says in the comments andy your task in post-production will be to, to figure out the macros and the cows on it we weighed out like most of the stuff, some of it is eyeballed. It's going to be a little bit of a guesstimation, but I reckon we'll have it fairly close. I say we, I reckon Andy will have it fairly close. The key element though is does it taste nice or does it just look good and taste like garbage? Let's find out. It's really good. It's like a probably a nine out of ten Pokeball. Pokeball? Poke? It's Pokemon. So like poker, pokey, poke. Po I'm going to say poke. No, that sounds weird. Pokey. Well, however you pronounce the word, it's a really good version of that. Added some sriracha mayo, added some uh, like sesame seeds. Absolutely ideal. Hello, it's me, your favorite YouTuber, Matt. Looking at my steps, currently at four and a half K. So we're gonna add in a little bonus walk here to get us up to the kind of seven-ish K mark. Poke bowl was outrageous, by the way. Uh, big shout out to Sears. I've had, no, I've got a banana, which I'm gonna eat shortly. Andy, you excited about that? Very excited about it. You can tell by the face, he's very excited. Uh, probably have an apple a little bit later on. I'll have a protein shake before bed, which is just like another clear whey one. So 20 grams of protein and nothing else. And that is me for the day. And he's going to duck out now because he's a part timer. But I mean, you've seen the vast majority of the food. And he whack the numbers on the screen for those snacks now. You can just look at those probably just next to me, so I'm not in the way around there. So it's really impressive numbers. And then we'll put the final numbers, macros and calories for the day on the screen. I, we looked at them earlier, right? I think I'm at pretty much bang on two and a half K, I think in terms of calories. Uh, and then protein, I think protein was like madly, almost exactly, I think it was like 201 grams. So putting out there, 
I'm a genius. Not even tracking can still hit pretty much bang on 200 grams of protein. Calories like two and a half K for me is obviously very low. Like I've been, you've, you saw it in the video, I'm losing weight fairly quickly, fairly consistently on that. Like I said, I'm still toying with the idea of maybe ramping it a bit and just kind of sitting more at maintenance to kind of let things level out. I'll see how the next week or two uh, play out. But yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the video done. I think like it was insightful. Was it insightful, Andy, what are you saying? Yeah, seven out of 10 on the insightful scale. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. You got any other suggestions for like, diet cutting cut type videos let me know in the comments and other just ideas generally always much appreciated if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you are new to the channel and it's really windy please subscribe and i will see you tomorrow oh.